to my nether group shot. Yeah, this is right here is a crow feather and a pigeon feather, yin and yang exploits. We should exploit a nation and nature. And just like the ancient Africans exploited nature, the ancient Africans exploited warrior. The Zulu tribe standing for warrior exploits. Well, let's get this straight. The Zulu tribe did not did not like war. Was not a warrior people. So if you remember that we Africans are not a warrior people. We are a peace per people. But we did exploit nature. We exploited chemistry and we exploited war. It's like nature itself. Deer had antlers. Did not like war, did not like to fight lions and wolves. But it exploit but it had exploitation for it. It had horns. It had readiness for it. And it did exploit its antlers with other male bucks. Over other females too. But it was mainly for you know what I mean? Or self-defense. And you've seen it used on other wolves before it saved his lives. It's like bulls to buffaloes. All nature. All like all vegan animals do not like war against other animals. Like gorillas that do, do not like it. But it has exploitation for it. it. Has big muscles, sharp fangs, it's ready for you knowing the likes of a war-like person, like a lion or a creature or a tiger. It's great. They can defend itself. They hold its own. Bulls, you will be surprised. All birds and like gooses, all swans. I like to give shout outs to Kredu Mutwa as an ancient Africa. African Sun Guan. Which I call myself now Sun Guan. Himself, he even said that what I just said. African people are not warlike people, but Zulu, which he is, his tribe is Zulu tribe. Exploit our warrior exploits. That's what I do. That's why I say I'm a guardian and protector. I explored warrior techniques. I explored the things of nature, the forces of nature. Doesn't mean I like war. Doesn't mean I like to fight. But I do like to exploit. So don't get fighting mixed up with my exploitation. I'm just sparring. I'm just explore, exploiting. Now, as Africans, African people going around on this on this planet, killing people. We're gonna talk about like what happened in ancient. That's been going on since ancient days. Africans killing each other with swords, that metal called iron. This knowledge then it came from us. It came from the other beings, reptilians. You want to call them whatever you want to call it, or the Entwa. What the Africans call them, the Entwa people, something like that. They came here in golden vessels when this world was just nothing but missing big long trees. When we didn't know about love, because even Kredu Mutwa said we didn't know about love. They taught us love, taught us how to have sex. They they genetic, genetic engineer doesn't give us the penis thing. Yeah, we were like male and females put together before they came here. Now, now, yeah, I hate to burst y'all bubbles and y'all beliefs, African brothers and sisters. But we are not love. We, we are peace creatures. We're not love like creatures. That was taught and gave to us. A curse. You don't believe me? Look in the data of archives and look up Kredu Mutua on YouTube. He said himself, anything from those beings or reptilian beings, a gift from them is a curse. Like the, like the crap of metal, which you see what came from all the, all the years of our time. Swords. You know what I mean? Spears. What we used it for? War. Not just killing others and killing each other. Now what it is for, metal or irons for guns. Hey, what, what are y'all doing? Killing each other. It's a mess that they left and called rubbish. Nothing but rubbish. 
that metal is called that metal was called evil by the Africans. Imbu. It's very imbu. It's an imbu weapon. Came from them. From the M2 us. Taught by the M2 us. How to crab iron and they kill. Now you see on my wrist? This is from the Africans, the Zulus, people. They say this is copper. This is this is what the M2, the wicked people fear. That's why you never seen copper used in war. Using generated technology. Defense. Generation. Body healing. Equalize it. Repairing. So y'all going around tooting y'all pieces of metal that's called iron. No, I man, piece of metal called iron. Thinking y'all cool, thinking y'all whatever. All y'all doing, acting like bitches. Acting like what the wickedness, you know what I mean, taught y'all. Y'all being slaves because they came here and taught y'all that. Y'all using the curse. Y'all flexing the curse. So every time y'all flexing a piece of iron and use it to hurt somebody, a knife, anything that was like a knife, sword, or anything, gun, piece of iron, any, any piece of iron you pull out, you are flexing a curse that was taught by these damn reptilians. Shows how weak and pathetic and rubbish and stupid you are. And like I said, I say it again. This is not my mouth. This came out of Credu Muthuwa's mouth. Look up the data, data of outcry. Look in the data archives. Check it out. You don't gotta believe me. Ain't no saying about believe me. You don't gotta know I me. Mean? You don't gotta play, think I'm right. Assume I'm right. Check it out yourself. YouTube, Data Archives, Credit Muthwa, check them out. He also said, as Africans didn't know nothing about love, they taught us, like I said, they taught us that love. These genetic engineers gave us this damn penis, and we were screaming at each other because we wasn't used to seeing this damn snake between our legs. This planet been here longer than y'all think. <laughs> than you can imagine. This planet created beings other than us. Like you see all these animals? Okay then. You think you really think it's like it's like the whole universe, space itself. Do you really think just like this planet? You think you just created us, intelligent beings? <laughs> yeah. It's like my lab. It's hilarious. And the more you actually assume shit, and your shit's right in your face. You got the squirrel, you got the iguana, you got the, the bird, you got the, you know what I mean? You got the insects. That's, that's an infinite, in, 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 limitless capabilities and possibilities in front of your face created by nature itself. And beings behind it. I mean, had these labs on this planet. I mean, caves and so on. So, so I just want to confirm that what I've been saying about love is weak. Yes, it's weak. It's been taught. It's a curse from the so-called gods, the mutuas, skelly skins. Iron, when you use it as a other than anything to benefit off or production or anything productive, it's a curse. Because he's using for what has been taught by the rep, the Muthwas. So I'm going to let y'all think about that. Sit down, think about what I just said, spoke it. And do your research. So you can't get mad at me, say I'm wrong. Because you get mad at yourself because you didn't even do the research. I put it out there. So ain't no such thing, ain't no reason to argue with me and say I'm wrong if you don't do your research. I told you where to go on the Data Archive to check it out, Credit Muthwa. I spell credu mutua for you. C credu. C R E D O. D O. <laughs> I say D D, but D O. <laughs> That's credu. Then mutua. It's easy. M U T W A. All right. You know I mean, you, it could be called, it's pronounced mutua. Mutua, but I'd say mutua the way it's spelled. M U T W A. Check it out. <laughs> yep. This is Digihiti in the Nubis Temple. <laughs>